Okay, so you've seen me do it with the big plasma ball at uh, 12 volts and 600 milliamps. Now I'm using a, the small USB plasma ball with uh, 5 volts and 300 milliamps. And here we are again on the light. <clears throat> Same circuit. Of course, I, I definitely have to modify that so it doesn't flash and just gives me a steady bright light. But here we go. There's the plasma ball. It's actually covered by that cup. It's that small little USB one. And as you can see, that's where I have the uh, <laughs> the the uh, plug right on top of that magnet right there, just holding it right off the coil. And then I have the other line that goes to the positive side of the circuit like I did with the other plasma ball and then I got my super capacitor below bank there and uh, my great big huge capacitor the coil goes from here to there and into the small coil over here and of course everything that's happening here is uh, Scalar energy doesn't work like regular uh, alternating current or direct current. Uh, scalar energy is just about all around, and basically what it's looking for is ground. And how I ground is right here with this big old uh, <laughs> heat sink that we got there. And I'm going to show something. See, this is about different type of way of running electricity. Once I disconnect this from the heat sink, as you notice, it's pretty much not working all that much it's just basically picking up the circuit but when I put it on the heat sink I get a steady ground and ground is what it's looking for it's like a ground antenna so if you ground that really well uh, you could probably make it pretty bright I still need some tuning on the capacitors and stuff to make it just right and then there's your scalar wave right there see that's the kind of scalar wave it's given off of the little plasma ball over there. And as you can see, I got it set up to uh, 5 kilovolts. Um, and it's, you're looking at the scalar wave at about, uh, right here, at about 5 milliamp, 5 milliseconds, I'm sorry, 5 milliseconds. Uh, I'm going to change this a little bit so you can see how it actually... Uh, take it to a Hertzian level, but let me see, I'm going the other way. And as you can see, the wave, as I got it at two milliseconds there, and you can start seeing the wave happening there, and I'm going to start breaking it up, bringing it closer, one millisecond. Now we're at 500 nanoseconds, and as you can see, there's a pattern in the middle of the wave we're breaking it down start seeing the patterns in the middle of the wave and I'll explain what Nikola Tesla was going to be doing with these scalar waves what his plan was in order to transmit all kinds of like sound anything and at the same time he also was going to be able to transmit uh, electric electricity because all it's looking for is ground so here it is I'm bringing it down to where you can actually see the Hertzian wave, but as you can see, that it's like that slinky effect, that slinky effect happening as it's going back and forth, because it is a scalar wave. Uh, let me bring this over to, so you can see the wave. That's what it looks like as I bring it down to uh, 20 nanoseconds. <clears throat> that's what the wave looks like bring it closer and then I'm going to show you when the actual wave that's being produced by the chip in the plasma ball I'm gonna bring the timer down here in this so I can freeze it and that is what the Hertzian wave for the <clears throat> um, transistor in that little plasma ball as you can see, they're not giving perfectly round waves because, uh, you know, it is a transistor. 
That's uh, it's not like a, a rotating spark gap or anything like uh, Nikola Tesla did with coils and rotor rotary spark gaps. Uh, here we're using <laughs> uh, electronics to create this effect, but we're doing it at a much smaller scale. So there it is, guys. I uh, bring this so that you can actually see that that wave is bouncing back and forth, back and forth, going over. And that's what causes a scalar wave. Once you bring it up to this point, it starts to become a scalar wave. And then you start to see the actual motion of the whole wave. It's bending in itself. See? There it is. All right. And that's uh, at 5 volts, 300 milliamps. And uh, we're lighting up that pretty bright. So um, it doesn't matter how much power you're putting into it. As long as you can create the scalar effect, you can get the same power out of it. Um, you know, all you need is the right ground and the right uh, frequency and timing on the capacitors. But the electronics on, on scalar technology doesn't work anything like on DC or... It's not like AC. I mean, this is kind of weird. I've been playing around with it for a long time uh, to try to see if I can run things off of it. And I'm starting to get used to it. And it's basically all has to do with ground, how you ground it. And that's how you actually get to use the power out of it. It is ground. That's what it's looking for. If you have an antenna <clears throat> and you put an antenna up through the plasma ball, like I showed in the in a previous video, uh, then, you know, you're multiplying your energy. You know, you're basically getting the positive end of the spectrum and lift and bringing that up and and pulling even more ground out. So uh, you can produce even more power. So it's pretty amazing stuff. And as soon as I uh, get a chance, I'm going to do some real in-depth, a real in-depth video on this so the world can see how I can do this. And you people that do uh, things with uh, um, Tesla coils and stuff like that, well, <clears throat> this is that kind of energy. This is the kind of energy that a Tesla coil puts out. Uh, this is what I'm using. And it's off of a plasma ball, though, because I'm using very little power to do it. So... Uh, that's the way you can, if I can do this with a little plasma ball, I can imagine what you can actually do with a Tesla coil <laughs> and run the house. <laughs> okay. It's just a most, uh, our technology today, people, uh, this, this, uh, type of technology was lost with Nikola Tesla. But if we, uh, learn how to use this type of power, uh, will go a lot further than what we are. And by the way, folks, there's no heat, no heat involved in this. I mean, I'm running these LEDs and uh, normally you, uh, running the current off of them will probably heat up that circuit. This stuff does not produce heat, man. It, it just cools it right there. You're, we're grounding it on a heat sink. I mean, come on, you know, there's no heat there. I mean, uh, and as much as you see here, you know, five kilovolts or whatever, you know, I can grab this with my hand and I'm not dying. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not going to shock me. I mean, it might give me a little bit of an RF burn, you know. Uh, not even that. I mean, not with this little plasma ball. Maybe with the big plasma ball, I feel it a little bit more. But, uh, nope. Well, that's it. Uh, <laughs> I'll go into more explanation in another video. Later, folks.